Okay, so today we're gonna have a look at the new Flex CF55 fridge. It's a 55 liter uh, portable 12 to 20 fridge with uh, Bluetooth capability and also a uh, battery monitoring system on the display and also then via the Bluetooth connectivity. So what we want to achieve here is to see what the draw is of the fridge uh, versus what it says on paper and also how long it takes to get from room temperature down to minus 20 degrees. So inside of the fridge we've got a little mechanical uh, thermostat that doesn't lie to us um, like a digital one can. So let's see what we can get. So it says it's uh, 23 degrees inside. And there we can see what the battery voltage is on the screen versus the battery voltage on the amp meter. The amp meter says it's 12.6 volts and the fridge says it's 12.2. So now it is 15.15. So uh, let's see what happens. How long it takes to get from 23 down to minus 20 and also how much it uses to get there so currently we're drawing on startup 2.7 amps it's not bad and uh, we are set to minus 20 i'm doing that via the app and we are in minimum cutoff like you can see on the m we are running from two 100 amp hour batteries that's been fully charged. Um, so uh, they're good to go. Okay, so now um, it's been 10 minutes. So according to the display on the fridge, we've dropped three degrees. And if we look inside, we're sitting on a uh, 14 degrees, slightly different to what the screen says. The screen says 19 now, um, and we're pulling roughly about 5 amps at roughly 60 watts. So let's give it another 10 minutes and see where we get. Okay, so now it's been 20 minutes and uh, we've dropped 20 degrees. Let's have a look what it thermostat that inside says. So this one says it's about 4 degrees. Uh, so fairly accurate. Okay, so let's give it another 10 minutes. Okay, so now we 30 minutes in the test and we've dropped uh, 34 degrees from 23 room temperature and uh, we're still running just over 4 amps low and we've done about uh, 2.23 amp hours um, in 30 minutes and to drop the fridge. 34 degrees. So uh, let's have a look. Okay, so now it's been roughly 40 minutes. We're almost on minus 20, we're minus 19, and uh, we're currently drawing about plus minus the 4 amps. It should drop now when the fridge goes into idle when it hits minus 20. And uh, our amp draw or amp hours is 2.985, so I think we will probably sit on roughly 3 amps amp hours to get the fridge from room temperature that was 23 to all the way down to minus 20. Let's have a look what the internal thermostat gives us. This guy is telling us we are at minus 16 from 
it's not as cold as what the screen is saying. Right, there we go. It's just under 42 minutes. We hit uh, minus 20. There you see the battery jump back up to maximum and to 12.5 volts. You can see our amp draw has also dropped to zero. Um, on the voltmeter, it jumped back up to 12.55 to 12.6. So roughly very close to what the fridge uh, battery monitor is giving you, about 0.05 um, to 0.1 variance. But I think because of the wiring from the, what the um, my precision watt meter to the pump in the internals, there should be the small voltage drop depending on the line thickness. Then maximum amp draw was 5.449. So 5.5 amps with the maximum draw, maximum wattage was 66 and we used about 3.08 amp hours to get the fridge to minus 20 degrees. Uh, let's have a look what the app says. The app says we're minus 20, uh, it says the battery is 100% full and we're sitting at 4.5 volts. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see there, but here we go, there's the app. Here you can see it's a minus 20 on the left hand side compartment. It says it's 12.5 volts, battery status 100%, and you can see it's set to 20, 